Hi, I'm Stacey Brooke, and I am the founder and chief advisor at College Essay Advisors. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Columbia University Supplement. The Columbia Supplement is not not complicated. It's complicated. Um, it consists of five lists of 150 words and two essays of 300 words apiece. Let's dig in starting with these lists. First one, list a few words or phrases that describe your ideal college community, 150 words or less. One of the most important things to keep in mind here is just to shy away from generalities or platitudes. I certainly would take a look at the Columbia website, do some research, figure out what their community is about, what they're proud of, um, what they think is most interesting about their community. Um, I certainly wouldn't mimic the website, but I think it will help give you a starting idea of what kinds of qualities you might highlight here. Second list. List the titles of the required readings from courses during the school year or summer that you enjoyed most in the past year, 150 words or less. So this is actually truly pretty straightforward. Um, I would just call the lists of books that you have read um, and truly pick your favorites. You certainly do not have to pick the longest or what you deem to be the most impressive work of literature um, you know, to make an impression here. I think the combination of things you choose will genuinely give admissions a sense of what resonates with you. And again, I'm gonna say it a hundred times, but diversity is is huge here you know the more you can show admissions the wide spectrum of the things that that hit you that that make sense to you that you believe in that connect with you the better next list list the titles of the books you read for pleasure that you enjoyed the most in the past year 150 words or less so this one as well i just honestly want to know what interests you enough for you to pick something up and read about it um, you know, in your spare time. Again, this does not have to be, you don't have to reread the Odyssey in your spare time. Maybe you are a huge fan of a sci-fi trilogy. Maybe you're obsessed with biographies. Please, please, please don't just write Harry Potter alone and nothing else. I know that you folks have read other books aside from Harry Potter. You can pick your favorite one and put it on the list if you reread it this summer. Um, but really try to find the, the works of literature, um, the novels, the things that have excited you that your peers may not have actually read along with you. Next list, list the titles of the print, electronic publications, and websites you read regularly, 150 words or less. Variety. They just want to know what you're consuming in terms of information. That's what admissions wants to know. And it helps to get as complete a picture of this as possible. And while reading books is super fun when you have the time, we all know that you are consuming many more electronic publications, um, websites, etc., on a daily basis than, than you are novels, let's say. So you should probably have a ton of things you could include here. Yes, news sites definitely spring to mind for, for a lot of us, I'm sure. Um, try to expand on that. Where else are you getting your information from? Social media sites don't count. I wouldn't even list them. I think there's an assumption that everyone is participating in that, but that's not really what admissions wants to know here. Maybe you're constantly refreshing the score on MLB.com. Maybe you just can't get enough of those Onion or Reductress articles. I know I can't. What you read, what you gravitate towards, the, the style, the tone, the voice, the information that's included is going to say a lot about you. So this, I think this is one of the most fun lists to create. You should have a, a ton of material to work with here. So just get it all down and then start to prune the list once you have it all on the page. Next list. List the titles of the films, concerts, shows, exhibits, lectures, and other entertainment you enjoyed most in the past year. 150 words or less. This one some people find difficult to approach because I think it's hard to think of some of these things off the top of your head. So I would just start brainstorming early for this. Write down as many things as you can think of. Truly, what movies did you see this year? What concerts did you go to? Did you see a Broadway show at any point or some local theater? Lectures, did you go to a conference that was truly inspiring to you where you learned something amazing? 
this truly is a peek inside your recreational brain for admissions. So try to have fun with this, mix it up. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. We are going to be uploading many more videos for the 2018-19 application season. Um, so check back for regular additions. Also, if you want more information about College Essay Advisors one-on-one -on -one advising services, feel free to check us out, collegeessayadvisors.com. We also have an online course where you can get essay help right now. Um, again, check out collegeessayadvisors.com. Follow us on social media, but don't forget, come back here uh, to find more videos for tips and tricks to help you with your admissions essays.